We have family in the studio. It's a family. Family affair. in the studio. Former Grant Lander, New York Times best-selling author. Shout out to the Pop Father. The best <laughs> follow on social media. Shea Serrano's in the building. Thank you so much for coming Thank through, you. man. I really appreciate, appreciate you. you joining the family. Really yes, appreciate sir. you. He's got a new book. Movies and other things, follow up to basketball and other things. We're going to talk about that later. But because you are here, we have to talk about the San Antonio Spurs. My beloved Spurs. New season is upon us. I am a noted Spurs hater. I'm, I'm well aware. This year, the reason I wasn't right around the this time, every year, I doubt the Spurs. Yeah. And then in about seven months, I regret it. And yeah. this year is no different. But you have, <laughs> you have a key to the Spurs this season. There is someone. Uh-oh. In How the Spurs our organization. Our new coach. You think the key to the Spurs is the Build new assistant coach? Build it up. Their Build new it up. assistant coach is going to change the Spurs. Let's go. Explain to me <laughs> how Build the assistant up. coach is going to bring this team from what should be like an eight seed to a good finish. This is Tim Duncan. Tim who? Tim mm. Mother effing Duncan. Never Timmy. Heard of him. Never heard of him. Never heard of him. Forgot him. I forgot Greatest him. Greatest power forward of all time. Okay. Top six best basketball player of all time. According to you. According to everybody, <laughs> that's me. Okay. Yes, um, I mean, just a winner. Just he wins. He wins. We need a guy that we need. You need the anchor. You need the person who you just sort of everybody looks to. And he's like, I bet whatever whatever is going to happen in this basketball game, I have done it already, and I've defeated it. <laughs> and here's how you do it. And I I can't imagine how powerful of a thing that has to be. Well, that's going to be huge for one Lamarcus Aldridge. Mm. Yeah, God has been a twenty plus point score. Now, Tim Duncan can help him harness some of the things that he feels like he needs to improve at. I'm excited to see you guys backcourt. Yes. Yes. Murray was back. Out, yes. Yep. yes. yes. Murray back. and Walker. Walker. Yeah. yeah. Both of those guys were hurt last year, mm -hmm. and they still made the playoffs. Yes. What do you expect from both of those guys this year? They're going to be they're going to be huge. In addition to that, though, Derek White. What you what you want to have happen mm, good is point. you want to get into the playoffs, and you want to see a player show you that he's not afraid of the fire. And Derek White showed up in that Denver series and he was like, I can do this. I can be the guy and went nuts. So now we have that. Plus we're bringing in DeJounte. Plus we're bringing in, like it's Tim it, Duncan. Like we're going to be good again. The, the pop offense, you need that smart point guard that runs everything. We don't need you. We don't need DeJounte to score 27 points yeah. a game. We just need you to not turn the ball over and run it like we need you. And you know DeJounte's smart because he remixed that turtle tattoo that he had. Like he, <laughs> he remixed that. So he's already making good decisions. You can tell he's already making good decisions. Okay. So you okay. are a noted Kawhi Leonard lover. And I, you, I know you two have had a complicated relationship. Mm -hmm. But once upon a time when the three of us were colleagues at Grantland, you actually wrote some erotic fan fiction <laughs> about Kawhi Leonard. This was the art. Yes. This was the art that was gonna go with it. Like yeah, this yeah. is where your level of Kawhi Leonard love was. Obviously, we watched Kawhi Leonard win a championship with another team. He did. What was it like for you? You know, being as close to him as you are, even though you've never really spoken, being as close to him as you are. The one ray relationship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, what was it like watching him win with the Raptors? No, you know what? It was cool. There was definitely a period after he left when we were like, this guy's the enemy. Mm -hmm. um, but all we needed was for him to show up in San Antonio, play in the game. We're going to boo you. We're going to we're gonna boo you like our lives depended on it. And then after the game, Popovich, he was like, they get, they hug each other. Popovich says in the, in the post-game interview in the media, he's like, all right, cool. Like, we're done, basically. Like, you're cool with us now. And then after Pop said that, we're like, all right. I mean, there, there are definitely people in San Antonio who don't feel that way. Sure. I remember I wrote a thing where I, I talked about this a little bit before about like, we're sort of over it. And then half of the city apparently is not. Um, but on our side, yeah, we're, we're cool. Watching him win, it was like, all right, you know, this is, this is, this, he used to live next door to us. This is my cousin who used to live next door to us. Then he moved to another city. Mm. And like, it's still cool to see. Yeah. And he had a couple of moments in there where you're like, Oh, yeah, I remember you're like the best player in the world. Correct. That's where I was going because you had two hands, one trophy. It was one thing to come up in the Spurs way. It was another thing to see him win as the best player. Yes, yes, yes. Because you watch that series and Toronto had been in those exact same moments before. And now they have a guy like like game five was a perfect example. They ended up losing that game. But Kawhi just sort of went nuts for a few minutes and, and they and, and they. He had like a couple of three, he had like eight points in, in like, I don't know, a minute and a half or something crazy like that. And you're like, oh, he's never afraid. It doesn't matter what's going on. He's never afraid. And that's really all you're looking for. Like that, it's it's hard to see a player do that and not be at least in awe of it, even if you don't like the well, player. Well, here's the thing. There's still hope for you and Kawhi's relationship. 
Yeah. Because, you know, you're the best follow on Twitter. I'm all on Twitter. <laughs> and here's something that you tweeted, which, you know, is an interesting thought. Kawhi to the Spurs, 2021. Oh, yeah. Sources are telling me. <laughs> I saw that. Kawhi to the Spurs. Kawhi to the Spurs, 2021. <laughs> so that might happen, might not. But one thing I know is going to happen is sometimes there's video in the world of sports and pop culture that we really need to do a detailed breakdown of. So now you will join Jalen and I, and we will go to the table. Jalen, explain what happened with Marcus Morris and Justin Anderson <laughs> last night. And we're going to run the footage. Okay. And I want you to explain to the people what's happening. The Knicks are trying to create a new culture mm -hmm. of toughness because that's what their fan base expects. This is why he gets paid to play basketball. Mm -hmm. And you up in my personal space. <laughs> So I, you know, wasn't upset about it. You know, clearly the defenders should be. Mm -hmm. But for him, that's why he gets paid millions of dollars to play basketball to bring toughness. So, Shay, you are known for breaking down the levels of disrespect <laughs> okay. with dunks, right? Yeah, 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 so yeah. where's the level of disrespect with hitting somebody with the ball? Is that like above or below an open hand slap? Uh, that's below an open hand slap, okay. but basically above... Every, like to just bonk you in the head. <laughs> it's something you do with your kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because he, he swung the elbow first. You see him right there, and you're like, yep. all right, something's about to happen. And then this is just frustration, and like, you know what? I'm, I'm ready to get out of here. But for anybody that's played basketball, and I'm not defending the actions of a player no, that's going to get you suspended. Defend it. But <laughs> when you're up in my personal space to bonk. some point, and I'm trying to get you to back up, and I swing the elbow, and that doesn't work. Yeah. yeah. What do you do? You bonk him in the head, I bonk guess. Him in the head with the ball. This is going to be like a thing that I do from now on. I just on. like it because it's one thing to punch somebody. It's like, oh, now we got we, on the show, we can't laugh at it. It's all serious and we don't support violence. But when you bonk somebody to have the ball, there's like a, there's like a, like a little levity to it. So, it's like funny. Yeah, the, the thing that I thought was the most interesting about this is if you like, if he hits him with that elbow or if he like decides he's going to punch him in the head, like that's one thing. You do that to somebody and you're like, Relaying a message. I see you as a threat, like a physical threat. But when you bonk someone in the head, <laughs> I see you as a child. There's nothing you're going to do about this. I can tell. Like as soon as he swung the elbow, and uh, the other guy's first reaction was to look at the ref and be like, "Are you going to let that?" He knew immediately. He was like, "All right, here, here we go." Gonna happen. So we've got your book here, movies and other things, and just tell us a little bit about what we can expect and why we should cop this. This is uh, it's just a silly book about a bunch of movies that I like. Each mm -hmm. chapter is a different question about a different movie or a collection of movies that needs to be answered. And I'm just sort of spending some time running through these things. So, Jalen, there's certain types of movies I've noticed that you like. Movies that feature gangsters and movies that feature people that look more like you than like me. Is that a fair assessment of your movie watching All experience? All that. <laughs> okay, 95%. Now, <laughs> since Shay is, you know, he wrote the book literally on movies. Yes. We wanted you to pitch some white people movies well There's first no off this gentleman it. john is in a few movies that i like yeah yep. john Leguizamo did the forward and the afterward was done by none other than don cheeto don cheeto look just at you famous super, friends i don't they, they were, they're what, not my bill friends would, at bill all would respond your email just, yeah, bill yeah. would respond <laughs> your email because <laughs> that's who did the forward yeah, for mine yeah. <laughs> that's what i got for mine so you're right jacoby <laughs> you know bill feels a certain way if you didn't ask him <laughs> he's like oh okay but can you pitch some 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 movies to Jalen just to sort of like broaden his horizon and his interest when it comes to films. All right, but I'm gonna start with Mexican movies first. Okay, okay good. I'm good. gonna do that. First of all, if you like you like gangster movies, you have to watch a movie called Blood In Blood Out. Mm, okay, which is like a Chicano mm. gangster movie. It's about three sibling, half brother, half cousins. Uh, one of them ends up having to join a prison gang because they go to, like it's it's really I heard it's of really, that one. I've it's seen really, it. really good. Yeah, I, I, I heard of that one. This film. Okay. Really, really interesting. Okay. Uh, another one I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna tell you about is Selena. Everybody's going crazy for Jennifer Lopez right now. Some <laughs> Oscar buzz for Hustlers. Yeah. Uh, she should have gotten an Oscar 25 years ago when she made Selena. So watch this one. And then if you need like a like a true blue, white people love this movie. Talk to me. Something's got to give. Diane Keaton, Jack Nicholson. Diane Keaton's one of the greatest actors of all time. Jack Nicholson, one of the greatest actors of all time. And they're just sort of bouncing off of each other for for two hours. It's so much fun. 
I you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to watch all three of yes. those movies. And report yes. back. Deal. We'll start a text thread. All right. We'll start a text thread. <laughs> Chase Serrano, my guy, thank you so much. Congratulations on all your success. Really thank appreciate you. you coming through. You're welcome right. to come back anytime. The, mo the book is called Movies and Other Things. Harley don't talk this way. one. Yeah, yeah. If you don't have Benny Blanco, basketball baby. and Benny other Blanco things, Benny Blanco from the Bronco. Cop that too. We'll be back. Russell Westbrook played for the Rockets. We'll show you what happened after this. Who's your favorite movie star? Denzel, De Niro, Pacino, Travolta. What about Travolta, though? I like Rocky. It was a hundred of those. Okay, okay, hold on. Hold on. What did you say? Oh, that's not John Travolta. <laughs> no, that's not John Travolta. <laughs> At least I gave him a shout out.